military nanobots found in town water supply. This is cutting edge science discovered in the municipal water supply of a township. I'm going to go over the details with you here in a minute. I've been doing a lot of research into nanotechnology recently and just cutting edge science. So this is what I discovered. Now, do you remember an article? I'm going to share an article with you guys that came out just a short while ago, also from MIT. And let me move this up here right now and turn off my video. So MIT News, ingestible or gummy robot. Robot unfolds from ingestible capsule, removes button battery, stuck to wall of simulated stomach. This is by Larry Hardesty, MIT News Office, May 12, 2016. So this is interesting, especially when you think about what I just told you about the ingestible nanobots that were discovered in the water of a specific township. And you've probably seen the article of the army of nanobots successfully operating inside live cockroaches. The implications are huge. This is an article that's on humans are free. And I don't see the author here, but I'll leave the description in the video box or the link in the video description box. So this is the kind of stuff that makes you go, hmm. And let me ask you, this article about how there was a discovery of nanobots in the town supply, how did they know that it was military grade? I mean, how are they able to link it to the Department of Defense or what military, which military, which branch of the military? Did it have camouflage? Did it have a, a specific engraving for a ranking? I mean, there's dozens and dozens and dozens of articles that have been written, probably hundreds of articles that have actually been written on this, and I'll share this with you in the background here. So, military nanobots found in town water supply. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different articles just on the front page here, the first page of the search on Google shows that there's military nanobots found in the town water supply. This is unprecedented, right? <laughs> well, let me read to you now the actual article because a lot of people that spent countless hours writing and telling their friends and family about how there was a discovery of military nanobots in the town supply of water, and the, and the <laughs> here you go. This is where it gets fun. All right. And this is from Ensenati's News. Ensenati's News feed. You can go to Ensenati Daily News feed .wordpress.com. Government officials still have no comment in regards to the strange incident that took place in the little town of Kauvera, which lies right in the middle of Apocalypse. Spelukla. Hold him in the county, just south of Conspiracyville. This story may have never come up if it hadn't been for James Littlefellow, 11th grade school science student. <laughs> 11th grade high school science student. Try saying that backwards. <laughs> At Kauver up high, James had talked to his uncle. Friatus, who is a professor at a neighboring university, into allowing his school to borrow one of their STMs. Not STD, but an STM. Thank goodness. Could you imagine an STD? The gift that keeps on giving, ladies and gentlemen. No thank you. Will not assimilate. An STM is a scanning, tunneling microscope. Its use is for their classes, final summer project. James couldn't believe his eyes. I thought, I was in a Transformers movie, dude, he told his uncle, realizing these things must have been in the tap water from the chemistry class, faucet, that was used for his project. They were actually moving and responding to pressure, and so he couldn't wait to show them to his uncle. They took a large sample of it in addition to the school tap water. 
and then his uncle, the professor at Feynman University Science Department. They were all in just total disbelief discovering thousands of these things, these nano gremlins, these nanoparticulate goblin computer interface framework. And the sample that James brought to them, they each were tagged with identification that was actually belonging to a company of a company that was contracted to the government for military purposes only, of course. So there you go. Now, that is the latest discovery, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Conspiracyville in Kaover up high from James Littlefellow. Wow, it's amazing. And obviously, this article is just, I mean, this is totally top secret, you guys. You got to be real careful not to talk about this school in Kaover up. It's funny because I actually read some comments and some conspiracy forums that were talking about this specific article. And they're like, we looked up Kaover up and we couldn't find it. And, you know, just south of Conspiracyville, we thought, man, it kind of sounds like a conspiracy, right? Duh. Yeah, hello. I mean, this is a little bit of satire there. So question everything and remember that reading the title of something does not mean you know the absolute story. You know, read the title, read the story to go with the title. Then you can possibly make a better interpretation about what the author of that news or report or entertainment piece or whatever it is, is putting together. So that way you're not somebody that actually does tell your friends about for sure you know that these nanobots were found from the military in a water supply of Kaover up and (laughs) unbelievable all right so watch out for the STMs and the STDs as well 